in these problems, we're being asked to evaluate functions, um, but maybe in a way you haven't seen before. You know, a typical function might look something like this. You have the name of the function, f of x, and then you have some part of the equation here. Um, so there's a function, f of x equals 2x plus 7. And um, when you're asked to evaluate a function, that's usually by plugging in some number for x. So you might be asked, what does f of negative 1 equal? And in that case, with the negative 1 subbing in for the x here, you just sub in the negative 1 here for x in the, in the function. So in this case, it would be 2 times negative 1 would be negative 2, plus 7 would be a positive 5. So that's a pretty typical way to evaluate a function. However, you could put anything in here. It doesn't just have to be numbers. You could evaluate the function in terms of some other kind of input. Uh, for example, some expression with other variables in it. Let's look at this first one. It says the function h is defined by h of x equals 2x plus 3. So that looks pretty normal for a function. And then it says find h of 2y. So that's uh, a variable uh, and a number multiplied by it instead of just a number to evaluate the function. But all we do is, is the same thing. We, we're going to take whatever's in these parentheses here and plug it in in place of x. So h of 2y is going to be 2. And then in place of the x, I put in a 2y and then finish my function here with the plus 3. And then we'll just simplify this. 2 times 2y is 4y. And so our answer here is just 4y plus 3. Let's try another one. Here we have the function f of x is 3x minus 4. And we want to find f of y minus 2. Well, in that case, we just put y minus 2 in the function in place of x. So f of y minus 2 equals 3, and then I'm going to use parentheses again, and put in the y minus 2 in place of x, and then minus 4. Now in this case, uh, we need to distribute the 3 here. So we'll multiply that through. 3 times y is 3y. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And then we have our minus 4. And we can combine the negative 6 and the negative 4. So we get 3y minus 10. So that is how to evaluate functions when you have a variable or a variable expression as an input instead of a number.